As the season unfolded, every player has dreams for a conference championship. Well, all the hard work has led you to this moment. Two of the biggest rivals of the sport of women's lacrosse with a habit of producing thrilling finishes will meet for an any 10 championship on the line. Welcome to Pleasantville, New York for the final game of the any 10 tournament. There's lead, one nothing on the crease entry pass that just sneaks by. Angelina Porcello is going to be the one credited with the goal. And hey, she leads the conference in goal scored. Might as well. In the midfield, and I think it got too dangerous, which is why they created the rule. But yeah, I mean, you know, if you get a foul in the midfield, any foul, it's an automatic green card. Feed oh. on the crease. It's good. Who else? Katie Long. Simply out beating the setters following the shot. Yeah, Sonny Leonetti's doing a great job back there um, getting possession for the Cats. Open net goal. The Cats get on the board. Yep. Towards the 30, but it's not going to stay past there. Alyssa Wolf trying to pick up the ground ball, and she eventually gets it. They're going to say it's a Delphi's possession, so bobbling it. What Karen Hauser, you know, coming over so that the player could follow the ball and get in. So Tangway cannot make the save the ground and the cats putting the pressure on fast break opportunity marino rip comes top shelf the bouncer sneaks it in hoiser isolated bottom of your screen porcello a dangerous pass finds the back of the net again angelina porcello evens the score at three 50 seconds remaining Setters searching for a chance to go up, heading into the second period. Karita inside, rips wow. it, opposite post! What a shot, pinpoint for... They're running onto that. It looked like Kulo got it where she wanted, but Porcello was on the wrong side of Hauser. Lawson oh. in front of net, opposite corner! Left side... ...in pace history in a single game, Porcello... Most draw controls in program history still counting. Annie Sheehan, the young gun, opposite corner, rips it home. Annie Sheehan finds two. Puts it in drive still, but she has to watch out for Angelina Porcello. Hauser did a great job getting her stick there with the cutter. A spin! Top left corner, what a shot! 12 minutes remaining. Pass Gialli, back to the point. Safransky. On the doorstep, pings oh, off pipe. the pipe, top uh. right corner on the rebound, cleaning up the garbage play. And another ready. And a chance to extend the deficit to two. We'll see what the look is. Hoiser takes it inside herself and goes between the legs. Adelphi up seven to five. From X. Closing out to about nine minutes remaining. 30 on the shot clock. Feet on the doorstep. Jubilee! Ripples the netting. She gets nowhere to scoop up that ground ball as Marino. Yep, nice job being aware at the 30 for Marino. And here's a tic-tac-toe for Adelphi. Tangway cannot get there in time. And a beautiful extra pass setup. Adelphi's also doing a nice job. Sometimes they come with more pressure than others. So, you know, pace isn't always... Aware of what to expect. Oh, nice feed. Right back to it. They feed to Sheen. Sheen flips it back out. And the identical pass. Uh, right now, Moffett is winning that battle. Modest to Flacco. Far post. Flacco puts it in and ties the game. Tangway once again. Out of the box, Turner. Cross crease and just lobs it in. Tangway cannot make it to the other post. Flacco still working the ball around. Montes pushed back out. Porcello hitches. On the doorstep and Katie Long sneaking behind the entire defense. Was so, it'll be interesting to see. I'm sure it's going to continue as we go forward. Under five. Porcello feed to Long. She still has it and wow. scores. Pushed in the back. <laughs> Hesitate, slide comes, they'll pass off. 
Porcello to Corita, hit as she was receiving the pass and Shot clock was able to reset. 40 now. Modest, turn around to Sheehan. Oh, that's a nice move. And another. For one shot here and take their one goal or two goal lead into the locker room. Corita finesses inside and sneaks it over the top. Floater. Well, they certainly turned me into a liar. <laughs> <laughs> into halftime. Lots of pump fakes. Tangway makes the stop. Rebounded by Lawson. And Lawson puts it through. The rebound's by. That was a really nice check by Wolf when McGrath had that draw control. Take some time off the clock there. Rip comes oh. and they tie it right before half. Three points. Almost resulted in a turnover. And Alyssa Wolf came on, but Adelphi gains control. On the ground ball scoop from Turner. Right again. A floated pass and tripped. The side hand feed from. Well, Porcello just came over. She had splits inside and sneaks it through. And he's she in. Deposit. It's impressive. Porcello splits two. The human joystick goes top right corner. The difference. Two minutes left into play. However, it's Porcello. Feed. Sheehan. Top right corner. Sheehan. Likes the lap and snipes it. Three. Blocko. They do. You're, you're absolutely right, Jack. But they might just be looking the part. Nope. Oh, there you go. Third time. <laughs> This is unbelievable. The third time a pass. Really nice ball movement by Adelphi right now. Oh. Just getting out of the way. That was towards McGrath's head. She had to duck it, it looked like. McGrath is hit while she is attempting a shot. They'll continue to circle the ball around. Two players on the crease for Adelphi. The feed comes and they rip it home. On the doorstep, floating around was fighting for it. A big spot for Safransky. She's one for three in free position so far this year. 15 to 12 lead for the Satter. Safransky rips it home. The ball has certainly taken some interesting bounces on these passes. Margaret Flacco. One on one opportunity. Gets it in for a score. Injuries are a big, unfortunate part of the game. You know, we, we know there are two Panthers out today as well as Schubert for the setters. Lawson gets it in for a score, her third free position goal. To see how she escapes this, Porcello, but there she goes. Porcello sprinting back. Absolutely fearless. Good job by Marino pursuing, ooh. To play. After 10 Ooh. years of being a program, 3,353 days since the inaugural game, the Setters have finally won it all. This was on like uh, the checklist for 2024 and for this team, it felt personal to have come up short that game. But listen, like this is only our second time in this championship game in the NE10 and for us to kind of come out the way we did, play the way we did offensively and really get stops defensively when we needed to, I'm so proud of them. And they just, yeah, they're a really special group. We just won a championship, any time championship, it was crazy. I really, like for coming off of last year, it was incredible to get back here and like be undefeated going into it. But now it's just like, we're, we're winning it all and it's so cool. We like top to bottom, it was just a great game. What happened to your voice? Um, I yell a lot and it's gone now. And I hope it will be back for Thursday, but it's just gone, so. It just means so much more, like no matter what it is, national championship, any 10. We haven't gotten this in program history, like I said. This is a whole new team, and we didn't even do it last year, and a lot of people thought we weren't going to be as good. We're undefeated, 20-0, and we won the any 10 championship. So this was a really big game. Seeing Adelphi again, they're an amazing team. It's always a fight when we go up against them, and yeah, today it came out in our favor, so. We've had this mentality all year of just on to the next, and uh, 
you know, not, not kind of riding the highs or the lows of games and of what this year has been and just kind of moving on pretty quickly. And I think that's what's made us successful. Like, you know, not to say that this didn't feel like a championship game, but in some ways it was just another one, you know, and um, hoping that we head into next week the same way. It was just pure joy. It was relief because we fought for it so hard. And then we finally got here and we showed it our all and we gave it our all. And, Every moment was a fight, so it really is just a testament to how hard we work all year. It's just really comforting knowing that, like, I have my girls next to me, like, will help me out if I'm getting double teamed. I'm there for them, and we just, we're all there for each other. Different threats keeps pressure off of me. I'm having to run back and forth throughout the whole game, so it's a really big help for the whole team. Yeah, I think that's something we really focus on, like being ready for the moment when your name is called. And it's also just the belief and trust that we have in our players. Um, it's established from day one, and it's also one of those things where um, they believe in each other. Like it's like that next man up mentality, and they just believe in the next person, whoever it is, is going to get the job done.